here's, um, I was doing some research on T Nation, and here's a new exercise. I don't know if you guys have ever tried, but it's uh, search your shrugs. So you're going to be having the bar, the crook your elbows in a search your position, and then you're going to shrug. And I know what it's like I said, I'm just kind of rehabbing myself right now, so this kind of gives me some time to kind of experiment on some new movements. This could be definitely go to, to because you feel the trap activation, you know, tremendously, and it's not so fatiguing on your grip, so to speak. But, you know, you have the bottom to pack your elbows, so, you know, you have the endurance component there. You can shrug really high. with that you get a tremendous track pump like I, I'm just using 10 pounds per side so you only got like 65 pounds or whatever but I really noticed you can really focus in on the traps pretty heavily with that shrug variation so it could be a potential good underload variation to throw in to really stimulate the traps so another thing I want to talk about today is um, what I'm going to do, um, what my, my next plan is with um, squatting and deadlifting. Okay, so for deadlifting, I see the best results with just working up to one top set per week. And I think that should be the plan starting next week. Probably one top set every week or every other week. But as far as squats go, I, you know, I, I said I was going to program some sort of top set training. The problem is, is if I just go with kind of like a, a program where a top set based program that's kind of like one side, like one day I do a six rep set, one day I do an eight rep set, one day I do a ten rep set. Well, the problem is my strength levels have gone down, you know, significantly. And I feel that some parts of that might be a little bit depressing and not really motivating to like, you know, take, for example, take a weight that you've, you know, done for like 12 reps and having to hit it for six. So I think what is going to be the best way to attack squats is going to be to start doing super squats. Yes, super squats, a 20 rep squat program, because... Even like sets for weak sauce weight, like if I go in next week and I do 235 or something for 20, yeah, it's 235, it's chicken shit, but I'm going to have that benefit of pushing it for 20 reps, which boosts your mental confidence and physical stamina, and the physical stamina is something that I've lost, you know, quite a bit of during that phase that I w was down with the Giardia, so... Um, that's going to be the plan is to probably hit, um, super squats, start out like 235 and just build it up really slowly. And like I said, the high rep squats are going to give me the muscle mass and the endurance that I want back that are going to make it easier for me to hit low rep sets later on. Plus, like I said, there's just something about them to where they're confidence boosters to where even if you're hitting, you know, chicken shit weight, you feel like you're on top of the world. So there's like a psychological effect as well. So that's going to be the best plan for action is to start super squats. Um, and I like to, I can ride it out. I, I want to ride it out and I'll ride it out until it stalls too, guys. Like if I get my previous best 20 rep set of squats is 310 and that was with a belt. So if I could get up to that with outer belt, that would be even more awesome. And, you know, who knows, like, let's say if I keep riding it out, and 
let's say I get up to 3.30 or something and I feel like, okay, maybe it would be a good idea to throw on a belt, I might throw on a belt, but it'll be the best course of action to start the program without a belt and then go from there. So that's going to be my best plan of action because me getting under anything 300 plus is depressing at the moment. So super squats is going to be the best course of action for squats. Because I have to get them back up to where they were. And benching is just going to be, you know, three top sets a week. But I hope that you guys try the search of shrug variation out. Um, start light. And like I said, you can get a really good squeeze in your traps. You have a long range of motion. Longer than you would with a barbell or trap bar. Because barbell, trap bar, you know, you can only go so far until it's arms only. But with this... You're able to really just have that trap range of motion. I'll, I'll do another set for you guys because I was rambling. Give that variation a try out. And like I said, um, that's just my recap of my training plan. And uh, so, like I said, try to search your shrugs out. Have a great day. Stay safe. Stay healthy.